Jonathan Echerno is almost at work. The 26-year-old left home more than two hours ago for his daily commute to Mercy College in Westchester County, where he works as an academic counselor. He left from his house in Staten Island at 6.30 a.m. To get to Mercy, he'll take an express bus to Grand Central and then a Metro North train. The commute will last from two to four hours, one way. And my best friend is a teacher, and he has, drives 12 minutes from the school where, he, from his house to the school where he works. And one day we had a snowstorm that was one of the days that took me almost three hours to get to work. Um, and he says to me, man, you know, it took me 25 minutes to get to work today. I said, really? Is that so? You know, it took me three hours. I want this job. It didn't dawn on me then how long the commute would be. And then, once I started commuting on a daily basis, I realized how long it was. And in the beginning, I was very angry and, you know, bitter. But now I'm just used to it. I'm like, yeah, my commute sucks, but I'm here. I'm enjoying myself. You know, I'm doing my thing, counseling my students, having a good time at work, which is important because if you like your job, little things like a bad commute don't matter as much, you know? I think this whole Hudson line is just one of the best rides you can take. Because where else can you get that beauty? <laughs> Generally speaking, I absolutely love my job. Yeah, the commute sucks. I mean, you know, the commute's two hours to go to work. <laughs> but uh, the commute sucks. But, you know, it, the fact that I have a good job that I absolutely love and I got colleagues who I can, you know, go from serious to funny in a, in a New York minute, like, uh, and students who really, I feel like I'm making an impact on their lives, it's really worthwhile, you know. Um, Do your students know about your commute? Yeah. Some of them make fun of me. <laughs>